Hi guys, it's Dr. Sammy Pryor and I hope that you subscribe because we are talking about all my videos are from a naturopathic physician. There's only about 8,000 of us practicing in the United States and yeah, we are natural experts, health experts, and we're actual physicians so you'll get the, all the medical news from a lens of a natural health expert. Yeah, so we're going to continue with this plastics in your health and today we're going to talk about one additive in particular called bisphenol A or BPA and many of you have heard about it because it's so widespread. Okay, these additives are used as for different physical properties and they make up about 4% of the microplastics and I talk about more about how they degrade in the uh, video called um, microplastics but they will degrade as the plastic progressively or they will leak as the plastic progressively degrades because they uh, the surface area to volume ratio increases and so these things will leak out okay bisphenol a is a chemical that's produced in large quantity used primarily in the production of polycarbonate plastics is found in various products including shatterproof windows, eyewear, water bottles, that's why it's important to carry your own stainless steel or glass water bottle, and epoxy resins that coat some metal food cans, bottle tops, and water supply pipes. BPA is widespread in the environment. In 2003 to 2004, the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, so the NAMES-3, conducted by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, found detectable levels of BPA in 93% of 2,517 urine samples from people six years and older. The CDC names data is considered representative of the exposure in the United States. And one reason you should be concerned, and especially for parents, is because it has been shown in animal studies to affect the human feet or the fetuses and newborns when they're exposed to the BPA. So how we're exposed is primarily through the diet. While air, dust, and water are other possible sources of exposure, the BPA in food and beverages account for the majority of the daily human exposure. Okay, so BPA can leach from into the food from the protective internal epoxy resin coatings of canned foods and from consumer products such as polycarbonate, tableware, food storage containers, water bottles and baby bottles. The degree to which BPA leaches from polycarbonate bottles into liquid uh, depends more on the temperature of the liquid uh, than the age of the container. Yeah, and BPA has been found in breast milk, okay? So what are these health effects that make it so negative? So we're gonna start with obesity. So they expose these mice to uh, fairly high concentrations of BPA and they found a 90% obesity rate in the offspring of these mice and they this off this ob obesity was across generations with what happens when there's changes transmitted through the germline so what they found is it does some epigenetic changes to the DNA to make people more obese, right? So you want to be careful when you're pregnant so you don't, uh, uh, you know, so your kids are not, you know, going to be obese because of things you did, okay? BPA and autism spectrum disorder and attention deficit disorder. So there has been an increase in the prevalence of ADHD and autism spectrum disorder and they found in young males with ASD the medial prefrontal cortex, so right up in here, 
shows an increase in neurons. So when they gave BPA to male rats, sorry, car, um, it resulted in increase of neurons in the medial prefrontal cortex, just like in these uh, autism spectrum disorder males. Okay, NASH or non-alcoholic steatorrhea hepatitis. You might have heard it called fatty liver disease. So they um, gave mice that were developing BPA and then they later fed some of them a traditional Western diet which they define as high fat with fructose and cholesterol. And like so sweetened beverages like bacon um, egg, high egg dishes things like that if you haven't seen my video on increased sudden heart uh, death and diet that's a good one to explain that the exposed mice were highly inclined towards fatty liver disease compared with other mice that weren't fed a Western style diet yeah, and we believe about a third of Americans have fatty liver disease now, so very common condition, and look, we're seeing BPA linked to that. Okay, and last one we're going to talk about is endocrine disruption, because it's been found to alter hormone activity. A two-year study to look at the chronic toxicity of BPA in rats found that BPA exposure led to some structural changes and they observed alteration in the expression of estrogen and androgen receptors. They also discovered changes in the expression of genes involved in sexual differentiation and neuroendocrine function in the hypothalamus, hippocampus, and amygdala and limited sex specific effects on learning and memory among other results. Interesting, so at the brain level, it affected the hormones and the differentiation of sexual characteristics. So very interesting, we're having so many trans uh, children now. Scientists also found that low level exposure in these rodents cause changes in mammary gland development that may contribute to increased breast cancer risk. Okay, and they also found that when they were given BPA, if they had a later life estrogen exposure, which is very common in the United States, uh, simulating the aging human male um, that they did develop male prostate and urethra showed a smaller urethra and they had an increased risk for cancer okay so increase in breast and prostate cancer which these have been on the rise it's almost like about one in three females might have breast cancer in their lifetime and now about one in five males will have prostate cancer and that might even be one in three now so these are on the rise so you'll have to tune in next week we're going to talk about another additive and these often come together and so the way you avoid them and get exposed to less of them are the same so you'll learn about that next week so you'll need to tune in but once again i really love all my subscribers i really am trying to help people out there i love you guys have a good rest of your day